In this MainStage tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to set up a visual metronome in MainStage. It's really simple to do, and this is handy if you just need a quick visual, if your team doesn't play to a click and you wanna make sure that you're about at the tempo that you desire to be. It's also useful if you wanna start a song off without the click, but you wanna make sure that you're near the tempo you're going to be at once the metronome kicks in. Like I said, it's really simple to do. Let me show you how. So before we jump into this tutorial, I wanna give a big thank you and shout out to a guy named Matthew Samuel, who's the one who first showed me this technique in one of our Facebook groups and gave me permission to do a video tutorial based off of this approach. So this is gonna be a really quick tutorial because it's a super simple way to achieve a visual metronome in MainStage. So I have my MainStage concert open. You can do this in any MainStage concert. First, we're gonna go over to layout mode. And here, we're gonna scroll down till you see the progress indicator. And then just click and drag that anywhere in your workspace. Now, you can just leave it right there. You can play with the size. You can change the display setting to nothing if you just wanna see the uh, clock here. It doesn't really matter. It's just a matter of personal preference. I'm just gonna leave it looking like this for now. Now, that's step one, there's only one other step. We're gonna go over to edit mode. And at the concert level here, which is the orange folder at the top of your patch list, select the on-screen progress indicator, go to actions, and then choose beat count. And you're done, that's it. So now you can hit play and you can see a visual representation of the tempo of your concert on screen. So if we turn on the metronome here, you can see that it's clicking right along with this visual. So this could be super handy for you if your team doesn't play to a click and you need to start a song and you just wanna make sure you're in the ballpark of tempo. You could go off this to give you a visual representation or perhaps if you want to bring in the click after a certain number of bars, maybe you're flowing in the intro of a song and you wanna make sure that you're near tempo and then you can turn the metronome on right at the downbeat and then bring your team in in sync. So this is a really simple way to solve the problem of getting a visual reference for where your BPM is inside a main stage. That's all there is to it, folks. A huge thank you again to Matthew Samuel for bringing this technique to our attention. Now, if this video was helpful to you, be sure to leave a comment and let us know. Also subscribe so you don't miss our next main stage tutorial. Lastly, I'll include a link in the description of this video to our Facebook group of over 5,000 MainStage users just like you. You can get a behind the scenes look at our video tutorials, get quick answers to your MainStage questions, and you even get some free downloads, some MainStage patches when you join. So go ahead and click the link right now to join our Facebook group, and we'll see you in the next video.